Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live from Boston here at the Penny Arcade Expo. We got our news desk full of superstars today. How you doing, Puckett? I'm losing. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that up, by the way. Yeah, uh, thank you. 2-0 and on the day. Not going to say I told you so, but yeah. I told you so. You know, let's let's take a look at our map count so far as uh, we've played Search and Destroy on Warhawk. We've played Easy. Domination Strike Zone. Easy. Um, I'm going to blame Dito and Theory on that last game. No. Th they no. were late. Th they were not warmed up. You Saints was also late, but he dropped a 40 bomb. You didn't pick the right lineup. You I had, did. You that was my fault. You had all objective players on that team. You know, Theory, Rambo, they all they all complement their team in a way where that's if they have true. the right players playing around them, that's when they'll be successful. But when you have raw slaying power, replays went 17 and 4, and, and uh, Saints dropped 40 kills on the map. Yeah, that was really nice. And formal on strikes on as well, they just went off. Murph played his role. You just you didn't pick the right teams, Puckett. I, I kind of failed. Revan, we're, we're down 2-0. We're not very good managers so far, but I'm pretty confident in my next team. We got Blitz coming up, and my squad's going to wreck yours. It's going to be a good match. Uh, you know, I think Apathy is going to be the player to watch from our squad just because he's the X factor. If he plays well, I think any team that he is on is going to have a very good possibility of winning. So uh, who, who is on your squad? So I have – actually, let me look. We got Nameless, Apathy, Formal, and J-Cap. Uh, J-Cap obviously was in Black Ops 1 and, and uh, Black Ops 2 an AR player, but he's transitioned into an SMG fairly well. I'm, I'm really confident in this team. Formal just going to tear it up. Nameless just off that MVP performance that he's had at Call of Duty Championships. They're going to absolutely murder it. You have a pretty good squad as well, but I think my boys are going to stack up pretty pretty uh, candidly here. I'm, I'm a little bit worried here about Formal in your lineup, but look at my God squad here. I got Krimbot playing with Classic and Sensor. So basically I got the number one Blitz capper in the entire league in Classic. I got the number two Slayer overall, Krim. I got Gunjar and Sensor just going to be slaying it for days. You know Sensor's going to be getting sneaky while everyone else is locking down your map. Who's going to get past my wall of three there? You guys have a nasty squad, but the slaying power on our team is just insurmountable. Look at our look at our team. All right. Formal J -Cap, and Nameless, formal. not going to lose a gunfight. J-Cap is going to tear it up. And then Apathy, like I said, <sighs> is the X Factor. You have a really good squad. I Crim6, amazing player, obviously. Gunjar, he's a sketch. I'm just kidding. He, he's, a, he's a great player. I love busting him on that. Um, but you, you guys have a you guys have a great squad. I, like I said, though, I just don't think they'll stack up. We're well gonna win. We're gonna make it boys. look easy. My map here is Freight. This is my favorite Blitz game mode to watch. I'm pretty excited about this one. But the players just making sure their classes are good. You see, Nameless needs a little extra warm up time. He's, he's in scared. the zone. He's in the zone. He's scared. He's not scared. I'm gonna throw things at him. That's not fear. Look at yo, him. Yo, Aaron, poke him with your camera real quick. Just get in on that. He's ready to pounce. Yeah, he's ready. Apathy is, is wired in. Look at the concentration. Formal still trying to figure out how to plug in his audio. J-Cap looking get that like formal, the yeah. Black Ops 1 champion that he is. Just preparing mentally for this matchup that he's about to annihilate. On the other side, though, this this squad is not losing. Look how big Sensor's biceps are. I, I, it's he, pretty he's, impressive. He's, not, he's just going to be impressive. flexing all over you dudes. And then Gunjar, he can't get any closer to that TV if he wanted to. I can see the TV from here. He's missing shots. He's getting nervous. No, Puckett. he is not. That look at is, that. Look uh, at that 50 well. plus 50. Who'd he kill? Your team. That was That's a nice right. shot. On the other side, you got Krim sitting there with my dude Classic. Again, Classic, the best player in Blitz statistically when it comes to the objective. How does he get there? He slays his way. He's not a sneaky player. I don't know what it is about your team. I just feel like they don't have that specific player in that group of four that's going to like step in and bring cohesiveness to the match. I mean, everybody that's playing right now on that team never have really teamed, never really played before. I, I think Gunjar and I don't think Gunjar and Sensor have ever teamed. Classics coming back to the scene. You guys just don't have that bond. I got, I got the Krimbot. Look at him. Yeah. Look at that focus. Yeah. He's just annihilating things right now. You can see the eyes. Quick left. Look I can, at that mini -map. I can give that to you. Krim is going to be the all-star of this game. But I don't think I, I really. I'm just confident in my squad. That's why I picked him. He's gonna buzzsaw through you, dudes. Uh, this is the game we need. We're down to you and Team Nadester. You better hurry is, up. Is, is doing a little better. It's fading very quickly. There's only seven games, so I'm getting a little nervous now. If we fall down 3-0, this is not looking good. Uh, and, and we do have some prizes to give away this weekend. Okay. So later on in the series, we will have our fans setting in who they think will win each game. If they guess correctly, we'll be hooking them up with some nice turtle beaches. 
Some nice MLG gear. We, we, now, we got some optic gear in the house too. Some I like Nike that. optic gear. What what do Clayster and I win for picking the right the right lineups for this uh, All Star matchup? Uh, should we do a steak bet on this? I'm, I'm down for I'm, a steak dinner. I'm down 2-0 in this series, but I'm so confident that we can make a comeback and the fact that Adam Apicell will pick up the tab <laughs> that I will bet you steaks. Mike Sepso is taking us out. I'm going to get the prime rib. <laughs> I'm going to ball out MLG's tab just because, you Bacon know, on bacon <laughs> on bacon. You don't know how to pick the right lineups. It's just what it is what I'm, it is. I'm, I'm throwing it just so you can get that steak at this oh, point. You're okay. welcome, my friend. Thank All you right. very much. You, I appreciate you it. You know, that's what we can do here at MLG. We take care of our players. So we're going into this game three. I'm waiting to see if it's ready. They're still playing free for all. Wrap this up. Game's loading up, says John Our Nelson. Our squad doesn't need warm-ups. Look at them. They don't even have the controllers picked up. They're ready to go. And Nameless is nervous. Look, Apathy's taking off his clothes last second. Oh, oh, he's he's getting nervous. Thanks, brother. I like to throw things, too. Please uh, reconnect that control. Oh, we're hey, all good. Hey, Rick. We got Rick, the owner of Justice, right here. Rick, who wins this one? Is it going to be Nade or is it going to be my squad? We're 2 0 right now. There's no argument. You're going with my baby. squad. Come going on. with my squad. What? He went with your team? He's going with my squad. Look at that. We'll see what happens at the end of this game. Like I said, <laughs> I picked these teams single handedly. All right. No matter how well they do, I'm going to take all the credit for it. Yep. Just because I it's feel not like the players, Mike, it's the managers. Mike Ditka over here. This is the all-star squad. We are the G GMs of this tournament. and uh, This is cool. I like this. You know, we just wanted to make the Optic fans happy, so the green wall is not on our Twitter feed. Revan and I talked about it. We were like, we'll give them two easy wins at the start. From there on, we'll just stomp them out. Five straight. That's Come the game on. plan, right, Revan? We know that's not true. Yeah, Revan's over there shaking his head. He knows what's We're up. almost here, though. I am excited. This is going to be awesome. This is your first cast in Call of Duty Ghost. It is. It is. It is. And I... It's it's pretty nice that we get to do it with Puckett. I used to watch you in the Halo days. Welcome I was to the booth, a very my big friend. fan. I was a I was a very big Halo fanboy back in the day. Yo, I heard you had a nasty double shot. Oh yeah, no, quad shot. Quad shot? Yeah. You can do that double double? My, my BXR is pretty good oh, too. Sick. Just saying. Alright, we're getting into this. You wanna watch your team lose or you wanna watch my team win? Uh let's start off with your squad first, because I feel like this side, the first side for them, the first five minutes is gonna be very critical to see where this momentum's gonna shift and who's gonna be getting what kills, who's gonna be capping what blitzes. Alright, off the break, guys, we got the blue squad lit up as the Federation. That is going to be my team, Team Revit. On the other side, you got Team Nadester. And already three down, four down. What an opening. Great work, at GM. I don't have much to say. They're going to get a cap, and hopefully we can break out of this spawn trap and you know get some map control back. Just because when you're in this position and you have two people bottom porter and you control white, it's so hard to get out of that spawn trap. Oh. Crimson gets taken out, and then you have Gunjar's holding down the middle of the map. That's very good. They Damage control right there. They, they only got one cap. They stopped it. They're getting map control. And that's all you really need to do in that situation. That was some solid stuff, man. I mean, Apathy picked up the two-piece to clear the way. Uh-oh. Player sneaking in the back. He's taken care of by Kunjar. And now Sensor gets the call. It's clear. Make the push. Yeah, very good shots from Sensor there. Again, they have, they're have they flooding this map, and they have map control again. I'm just hoping they get another cap right there, up 2-0. And it's all about map control, and they need to get out of their base. All right, we're going to turn on this Oracle mode so you can see the opponents through the wall. Pretty nice new feature here oh, in Call it. of Duty Ghost. I, I absolutely love it. It's one of the good uh -oh. things that I... Yo, you see how Another cocky my classic. dudes are right now? They're doing pretty well. Yo, you I'm see not where Krim's at right now? This is the God Squad. When it comes to Blitz, you cannot beat this team. See, and I, I love what Krim's doing here is because he's forcing that crate spawn. He's making havoc in their base. Uh, he's playing for the kills right there. I think he could have got a cap, but, you know, Krim6 uh -oh. can do whatever he wants. Good, got to stop. Apathy, big kill there on defense. And everyone getting shut down on your push, so 3-0 lead. And we're still just in the first two minutes. Here's going to be another battle for Goon. Won't win that one. He's just warming up, though. Don't worry. They, and I, sensors behind enemy lines here. I really believe they just need to find their comfort zone. You know, obviously, they've never played with each other. Maybe eights are here and there. But they just need to find that groove and get on the same wave, oh. wavelength and get these caps. Formal just got two of the biggest kills in the game so far for your squad. Two nice defensive kills inside the blitz room. But here comes the push from Goon. Goon's got the wide open score. Now 4-0. How do you stop this bleeding? Like I said, you just need to get these kills in their base. Crim6 has been at Porter and White this entire, this entire match. And they're just going back and forth, relaying. Map control. We picked up a cap right there. Nice sneak. You get out of your base. Uh, but it's, it's all about map control. All right. So nice cap being put in by J-Cap. 
will stop it from being a total blowout. And here comes the slaying power they from are Team all, Nadester. They're all stacked over there in oh. white. And Classic with some absolutely nasty shots right there to pick up a big two-piece uh, to stop my squad from getting some uh, serious critical map control. <laughs> Dude, this is why this kid is the number one in blitz caps. He's killing everything, sliding under the shots. 11-5-2 right now. That was beautiful. Is my dude classic. I was going to switch to the other guy scoring in your base, but I figured we might as well watch him as he becomes a super soldier. That was a flawless play right there. Big on, uh, big on classic part. Classic getting challenged. And another win. Apathy going down before he's finally but cleaned check this up. Out. Check this out. We have somebody in the back of the you, face. You like that flanker? You want to get that? You think it he's getting like through my dudes? Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know if uh -oh. I should have taken that kill. Nameless, come on, man. You can't give up your position like that. Meanwhile, Kunjar says, I'll clean everyone up except for that one guy. He goes down. And Krim, he's going to be pushing on this white side. Now, talk to me about Krim's play here. What's he trying to do? Krim right now is just holding down the right side of the map so his team can push up and they can make a play towards the base. Obviously, he gets taken out right there, but he's had wonderful position. And, you know, I've said it a million times already, but when you're playing uh, Freight Blitz, if you do not have mid-map control, you're done. You're going to get relayed back and forth over and over. And uh, that's really what Sensor is fighting to do right now is try to get to that middle map and have that control. Looks like players trying to push forward. One has snuck That's a by. Nice long range pick. Sensor knows he has to play defense. There's a player up top. It's formal and nice elimination. Wow, this squad really coming together. Yeah, props to Sensor right there because that was a very, it was amazing map presence. He knew that he had to back up, get that kill second story. Because if you give up green control, and they have second story, they're going to be spawn trapping you the whole game. So that was those big plays by Sensor. Apathy and Formal getting three down. Classic falls as well. So four down for the moment. Formal's going to be leading the charge on this left side. Opens that front door. And now he's got to defend himself against the players spawning. Meanwhile, Apathy has snuck up top. He's going to do some work right there. Beautiful cap. I like that. Very unselfish play. 30 seconds left. He could have played for the spawn kills, but he knows they're down. They need some caps. And that's going to give them some momentum going into the second side if they could stop this uh, final push uh, by Revit because they're getting some deep deep push in this green building. Uh -oh. And it looks like they are going to get a Come cap. on, Goon. Let's get this. Sensor goes through. Goonjar trying to rally in the final seconds, lining them up. We've seen this on the pro circuit. Can he do it again? Nope, three players in the base will keep it a 6-2 blowout in the first half. That's not a blowout. Four points. Come on, man. Give him a little credit. Yeah, you're right. Uh, like I said, Yo, Revan's the... over there flexing right now. He is stretching. Average. We're coming back. Gunjar playing phenomenal. Uh, you got to give it up to Classic as well. He had some amazing plays in the base that got him another cap. Uh, actually, even two. Very crucial plays. I do want to say he's kind of slowed down, though. He yeah, was 11-5. and five. Goon, on the other hand, has totally stepped it up and also Sensor on a five-point spree to end that second or first half. It's pretty tough to keep, uh, you know, a streaky plays going on this map just because there's so many different lanes that you could be shot at from. It, it's very hard. So if Goondar can keep this up, uh, they'll have no problem winning this map. All right, if you're Sensor right now, what do you need to look out for? Well, I guess that front door was the answer and he took care of business. Yeah, that was a big two-piece. Meanwhile, it looks like one player has snuck in. Will he be able to cap? It was not J-Cap. Everyone falling here. And now we got the push coming from Krim6 from the bottom here. Catch, now, catch them way off guard. To be honest with you, I, I really like what Krim6 did there. The gate wasn't open yet, so he had to shoot it open. They know where he's at. But a lot of players kind of underestimate going through that underground tunnel and just getting free caps over and over. I did it a lot of champs. Uh, not a lot of people check for it. Just because, I mean, you have three lanes in the middle of the map that need to be covered. And then as soon as you throw in that underground tunnel, that's a fourth lane that many players aren't going to check consistently over and over. Formal picking up a two-piece, going to clear it out the middle. Now here comes the push from Team Nadester. Down goes Formal. Apathy on the flank on the left side while everyone else went right. And actually it looks like they will send Nameless up top. So Nameless gets in. He should have a free cap here. And there we go. You said the comeback would happen on the second side. Now just down three points. Only down by three points. And, and what they're doing is, is phenomenal. They have amazing teamwork. Look at Formal. He has an entire field of view on the, in the entire map. He can call out the cross at any time, and he can pick up a big two-piece right there. And can they're most the likely going to get another cap. Oh, he gets stopped. Poor communication. They did get a cap. Oh, he did score that. Yeah, he shouldn't have went for that capture. Uh, they just weren't on the same page, but that's all good. Apathy going to hold this side of the right side from Porter, pick up a big kill. No, and he's going don't for the do it, Ap. Thank you. Almost gets it. Almost I was getting gets nervous it. right there. Dude, Sensor is lighting it up now. 22 and 12, the best KD in the game at the moment. Gunjar just spot a player going far left. 
Can they shut it down? It looks like that is going to be J-Cap behind enemy lines that they need to look out for. Not the player you want camping inside your base. Big kill by J-Cap. He's going to get the capture. And oh, we're down Revan. by one point. Revan's getting nervous one over there. Point. He is no longer flexing. Yo, they have two players in our base too, Revan. The spawn kills. Oh, apathy. apathy the two monster. Piece. My dudes, they're going so hard oh, right now. No. I'm telling you, it's this side of the map. Yo. No. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be very, it's very easy to say that it's probably the good side of the map, and as soon as you get that spawn trap locked in, uh, something I saw TK do at Champs that I wasn't even aware of, if you send somebody back white and you have another player top crates, they'll spawn the back left over and over, and we just took the lead. Yeah, that wasn't cool. I told you, Puckett. And a big kill right there by Formal. You dudes are just getting lucky. Tied up. By the way. It's all good. We're going to get this map control back, like I said at the beginning. He's going to cut the map after he might even be playing for a sneak here. And it's beautiful. He can't get shot uh, from his left, just positioning himself so well. Meanwhile, you see, it looks like there's two more players pushing middle. Apathy does clean up one. Another defender over to the right. Apathy trying to get across the middle. Will finally get tagged up. Let's go over to Krim6. Krim getting sneak? aggressive. He's looking sneak? angry here. Take the lead right there oh, just on the mini-map. It's just they're, they're on the same page now. It's like clockwork. Over and over, they're either getting kills on the base or they're playing for the sneak. Krim is trying to get sneaky himself. Here comes the push from Team Revit. That's the tying score. Meanwhile, it looks like Krim is going to have to get the defensive kill. No easy trade here. Formal is going to walk right in. I'll keep Formal lit up on the mini-map. I think it's going to come down to Formal versus Krim here in a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, they, we got to watch out here. That was actually a really big kill at the flag. Uh, he, he killed him at second story. And like I said, if you have that second story control, it's so easy to get caps. Uh, but we're tied up here with a minute left. This is chalking up to be an amazing match. So far, we've seen a round 11 in Search and Destroy. That went down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Not going to lie, Team Nature clutched it there. I'm getting nervous for my guys. This yep. is the best part about Call of Duty. And I, at first, I wasn't a big fan of Blitz when it first was unrolled into uh, Call of Duty Ghost. But matches like this are just too much fun to watch. Yeah, from the spectator point of view, I think Blitz is by far the best game mode. It looks like more scores being traded. Gunjar and friends need to get into the base. Meanwhile, it looks like map control belongs to Nadester. Here comes Nameless pushing up on this right side. Yeah, he's making a very aggressive push. If he can get some kills here for his team, they're going to score. He runs right by oh! him, and he almost gets the cap. It was so close. But J-Cap, as we can see here, he's got to tie up the game. Nobody's checking the base, and he ties it up 12-12. And uh, let's see if they can take the win. Nice job by Nadester. Meanwhile, big kill needs to be scored in the back. Formal goes down, and that is another cap. Gunjar, four caps here, and there is another player in the base, 13 to 12. This yeah. one could seal the deal if Sensor goes through. That's all she wrote. Sorry, Nade. No, you guys. We got one. You guys had some big we plays. We got one, Revan. We got one, baby. Those were definitely some clutch plays. Sensor went absolutely off as well as Gunjar. Uh, I mean, everybody on that team played phenomenal. Uh, you know, you, you have five captures from Classic really living up to that objective name that he's made for himself in lead play. Uh, so. It is what it is. Your guys played a, a great match. You know, at the end right there, it got pretty close. They could have traded a couple caps, but you, you, your, boys, your boys clutched up. They did it. Now, I gotta give them props. the real question is, can we do it two games in a row? What do we have next? Can, is it we got to search and destroy on Octane. Let me tell you this. I got Ricky coming into this game, and he's going to be the playmaker in search and destroy. Ricky? He's, the, he's that, the cornerstone on every search and destroy team that you need. He's got the confidence. He's got the ability to clutch. And I think he's going to be a big difference maker. All right. Well, uh, Nate, I want to keep you in the booth for Search and Destroy. I'm because ready. Because I know you are the shot caller for Optic. Yes. And, that's, and that's while how we're, it's gone. While, while we're filling some time here, while the, we're going to swap out some players, can you talk to us a minute about that decision to rush against Complexity, final round of Freight Search uh, and Destroy? I would love to. We could definitely do that. You want to start right now? Or you know are we what? going to a break? We're going to take a 60 second when we return. Nate Shot tells the story of how they took down Cole on Freight S&D.